Today, I want to explain to you the idea of how the stellar community can help increase reforestation. Coming off of COP26 meetings in Glasgow, where world leaders promised they'd increased forest coverage globally because of the environmental impact this will bring for us, I want our community, the stellar community, to be part of this, to be part of reforesting the world. And I think together we can bring about greater reforestation. Why is this important? Again, the world needs more trees. This is a major climate threat that we're facing. We can help create incentives through Stellar's tools to create more reforestation. If people see an economic value from leaving the trees in the ground, from not cutting them down, why would they take the effort to cut them down? We want to create that incentive. Trading trees. This is what we're looking at. With Tree Track, we're looking to make it so people can trade trees. We'd create an NFT for each individual tree. We'd have a marketplace system for them. And whether with our marketplace or another, people can have a wallet where they keep a record of any trees they've bought, of trees they've supported. I say people, but this could also be companies, organizations, anyone who wants to have a digital record of the trees they own. The value of the tree will increase as there's more demand for it. The value of the tree can also increase as more data is added about that tree. So as it grows bigger, as we prove it's been in the ground longer and therefore must be bigger, and then we if we can prove it's still there, the value of the tree will increase. At some point, yes, the private sector could allow cutting down of these trees. And the, so we could also sell the rights to these trees so they could be cut down. But by having that data about them, we know what trees have been cut down. We know what's happened. We know what trees have existed. And if indeed they are cut down, we simply know it's happened. And it's less likely to happen as quickly because people have an economic reason to leave the trees in the ground. If you're an existing forest owner and you see the only way to get money out from your forest is by cutting down the trees, but you say, hey, I can get an infusion of cash by selling these digital rights to, to a portion of my trees, by digitizing the records of my trees, you can get an infusion of cash without cutting down your trees and use that for other investments you might have on your property. We want to make it more valuable to leave these trees in the ground than to cut them down. Data, again, Scientists globally will have more data they can track about these trees. Even if our initial pilot is only tracking the tree exists and the tree remains in the ground, that's already something. But our partners of the Seneca Park Zoo Society, they've already run projects where they put Raspberry Pi computers into the trees they've replanted in Madagascar. They've already done this with tens of thousands of trees and they collect data on things like humidity, moisture levels, temperature, and this kind of in-depth detail of information we can have about the forest environments globally will increase what scientists can do and help public policymakers. And initially we're looking at pilots where the Seneca Park Zoo Society is partners in Madagascar, possibly Tunisia where I'm based. You may have from my accent, I'm American uh, from New York originally, but based in Tunisia now in North Africa. And also in El Salvador where I've had operations until about two years ago or till I was based until two years ago and I still have team members in El Salvador who would capture information in the rainforest environments there. And of course, having an NFT project tracking trees in El Salvador will be in line with government's vision to do Bitcoin and use, use cryptocurrencies as payment systems, and also working more broadly as El Salvador is to increase the digitalization of their society. So the mapping of trees, eventually this could give us a global map of where all trees are globally. Where are all forests? Yes, we have this from satellite systems to a degree, but we do not have at the level of individual trees. And over the long run, that would be our goal to actually track every tree on earth. If deforestation is changing our climate, harming people and the natural world, we must can and reverse this trend. Of course, this quote from Jane Goodall, but it perfectly describes the problem we as a whole world are facing. We want the Stellar Community Fund to be part of this, to be part of reversing this trend. This is a small step forward and can be a bigger path in changing this, this situation we're facing with our, our natural environment. And we wanna use this to create a marketplace for trees.